Hey, what's up guys? Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Today I'm here with another amazing plugin by Krotos. It's called Reformer Pro. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos about uh, Dehumanizer and Weaponizer, go check them out. It's the same company and they're doing some amazing tools for sound designers. Now, what is Reformer Pro? Uh, let's say you're working on sound design in post productions. You have to either record fully or sound design some stuff on videos, on video games, on trailers or whatever and you would like to make it super easy and just make some sounds with your voice in a microphone and some sound libraries would appear automatically well that's pretty much what reformer does um, it comes with some sound libraries but you can always use your own sounds it will analyze it and you can trigger those libraries with any audio sources so you can use your voice, you can use a guitar, you can use any sounds. So let's say you're watching a video, for example, right here I have three videos. Those videos come from Freestock, uh, so I'll put links in the description to those videos if you want to try to do some sound design on those videos and try Reformer Pro. So the first one, let's look at it without any sounds first. So it's pretty basic stuff, but uh, there's a lot of sounds that we need to consider here. There's the rock sounds, there's what he's actually crushing, so it looks like fruits, uh, texture. Uh, the original sound that came with the video was really noisy, so uh, we can listen to the original sounds first. So as you can see, there's a big hiss, there's a lot of ambience, and the hits are actually on the right side, so it's not really good. And what I did is basically load Reformer Pro on this track, uh, loaded some fruit squash library, some leather library. For some reason, leather works well with this if you put just a little bit, and some rock hit library that I actually imported from my own sounds. You can have up to four libraries and you can morph between them or blend them together with this XY pad. So it's really cool. You can do layers really easily. So I just loaded it, loaded the libraries and pressed play. So let's listen to it. Now if you feel that what's playing is not matching the image correctly, you have some response time here. You can put it slower, uh, medium or faster. You also have a playback speed, so let's try to put it a bit higher. And let's play with the XY pad just to show you the different libraries. I'm going to morph into a different library so you'll see what it's doing. So I would probably use it around here. And you can always blend it with the original signal if you want. There's a master dry and wet here. So let's try that. Let's say I want to only use the fruit squash with the original signal. Let's try that. Now the original signal in my opinion is way too noisy so let's keep the 100% wet signal for now. Um, so yeah, pretty easy to use, pretty cool stuff. No annoying ambience, I just press play and it's working so that's really cool. I also tried two other videos just for fun. Uh, this one is actually a bird in slow motion so what I wanted to do is actually making some flaps but in slow motion. Yeah so I imported my own library for this. It's actually doing a pretty good job. It's not amazing but there was no sound. The video was just silent. So I used my mouth and I did this. Now don't laugh at me, uh, this is just for fun. I did one take just to see how it sounded like. So 
So I just um, try to match what the bird was doing. So now after loading Reformer Pro and loading some bird uh, wing sounds, let's listen to what it's doing. Pretty cool stuff. I put the playback speed uh, to be a little bit slower so it sounds a bit more muffled or low pitch, but it's doing a pretty good job. I didn't tweak that that much. I actually loaded the plugin. I put an expander just to um, make the transient a bit more intense because I did a terrible job with that uh, performance right there, but it's actually doing a really good job with it. So let's move on. Uh, I found another video. It's just a chef cutting carrots. So uh, the thing I noticed I tried once again to import a library uh, with some knife sounds, but uh, there was a lot of smaller sounds and for Reformer Pro to work well, they need to be at least one second. So uh, these were actually shorter and there were impact sounds, so I couldn't use them. So what I did instead, I used some texture sounds uh, that were triggered through Reformer Pro and I actually edited the impact sound that were too short myself. So just uh, the texture without the hits it sounds like this. This is all coming from Reformer Pro. So what I did is I loaded two instants of Reformer Pro. I used my mouth to record um, something like this. Now this is really bad once again, so keep that in mind. Tick, 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 tick. I basically just wanted to match what, what I was seeing on the uh, video. So as you could hear, the textures that I loaded in Reformer Pro, one was actually a wood glide sound, uh, this one right here. And the other one is actually some texture sounds to make it feel like we're actually cutting carrots. As I said, I edited the hits myself, but they sound pretty basic by themselves. So really standard hits, but layered together, it does a really good job. It's actually really realistic. So let's listen to it. Yeah, that was uh, pretty easy to be honest. I just had to match those by hand. Putting these on solo, it sounds a bit weird since there's no impact and these alone sounds a bit sterile. So uh, blending them together does an amazing job. Let's listen to it once more. Really cool stuff. Uh, you can do so much more with Reformer Pro. Uh, right now I just picked three random videos and tried to do something with it, but it's actually really powerful since you can also load your own libraries. Uh, so you can trigger all kinds of weird stuff, even for music. But I would say that the libraries that comes with it actually sounds really good. I'll leave a link to their website in the description. Go check it out. It's actually a subscription service. So let's say you just want to use it for a month for a project, you can always do that. So as usual, if you like that video, click that like button and subscribe and see you guys in next video. Bye guys.